Did you know that you can collect audit data and feedback about your usage of generative AI on the platform? My name is Alba Rivas, and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything about it. All the generative AI powered features and products of the Salesforce platform always interact with large language models through the Einstein Trust layer. The Einstein Trust layer provides a trusted and secure infrastructure that allows you to build secure prompts that incorporate customer data safely and effectively. The trust layer also processes LLM's responses, evaluating their quality and toxicity. This means it is able to log your generative AI requests, generations, and provided feedback into several data model objects in Data Cloud. That way, you can monitor and optimize your prompts, your models, and your generative AI applications. You activate audit and feedback features on the setup menu. Because audit and feedback data is stored in Data Cloud, bear in mind it consumes Data Cloud credits. Learn about billing on the next link and consider tracking consumption through our new digital wallet. Let's start with audit data. Audit data captures the interactions between the user and the large language models. This is the requests that are sent through the trust layer and the responses that the LLM produces and the trust layer processes. The data model objects in which all the data is stored are the next ones. We have generative AI gateway request, which captures incoming requests, generative AI request tag, which captures tags that are used to categorize the requests. Then we have generative AI gateway response that stores the responses generated by the system, generative AI generation that details the specific generative AI outputs, generative AI content quality that evaluates the quality of the generated content, and generative AI content category that categorizes the content based on various safety and quality metrics. Let's understand this better with a demo. This Lightning Web component generates a ticket on SVG format by invoking a large language model through the model's API. There it is. When we clicked the button, because the audit feature is activated, everything that happened under the hood was logged. Because Data Cloud refreshes the data streams once every hour, we won't see this data immediately, but we can take a look at the audit data for a ticket I generated before. There are some out-of-the-box reports and dashboards that you can use to visualize audit data. Here's one. We can see all the data, including the request, the masked request, the response, and the masked response. Of course, as developers, you can create your own apps on top of this data, querying the data model objects in Apex or through any of the Data Cloud APIs. Take a look at this video to know how to do it. Now, let's talk about feedback. The feedback data model objects capture user feedback on the generated content. Feedback can either be given explicitly by the user with a thumbs up, thumbs down, or it can be derived implicitly. For instance, when a response was generated, but it was not used or was edited. Feedback is stored in the following object. Generative AI feedback that stores explicit and implicit feedback from users. Generative AI feedback detail that provides detailed feedback on actions taken by users. And generative AI app generation that stores any generative AI app specific updates on the generated response. To understand this better, let's take a look at another demo. 
The Lightning Web Components from our previous example has some buttons that allow users to provide feedback about the ticket generation using the model's API. I like this ticket, so let's click thumbs up. Again, there are some out-of-the-box reports and dashboards that you can use to visualize feedback data, such as this one. Here we can see the thumbs up and thumbs down that have been provided for ticket generations in our app. This can give us a general idea of how our ticket generation logic is working. And of course, as developers, you can create your own apps querying the objects. This was a very simple example, but know that our standard generative AI features log much more information about the implicit and explicit feedback given in the objects I enumerated before. In these demos, we interacted with large language models through the model's API, but bear in mind, all Salesforce Generative AI activity will be logged, including interactions performed by prompt templates, agents, and agent force for developers. That's all for today. In this video, you have seen how the audit and feedback features are powerful tools to monitor, analyze, and optimize your Generative AI applications. And as developers, you can incorporate this data easily in your custom apps by querying the available data model objects. To know more about this topic, make sure to watch the Dreamforce 24 developer keynote and check out the next resources. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.